Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the OCZ Vertix 3 Solid State Drive. So this drive is available from OCZTechnology.com. This is destined for my Mac Pro as an internal upgrade where I'm currently running out of room on my solid state drive that I've got in there already. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the product and also showing you how to clone your existing operating system over to a new drive and then taking a look at the benchmark results from the Vertex 3. Now this particular one is available in 60 gigabyte, 90 gigabyte, 120 gigabyte, 240 gigabyte, which is the one I've got here, and a massive 480 gigabyte capacity. This is a SATA 3 drive, so up to six gigabits per second data transfer speed. And what that should equate to on this particular one is a max read speed of up to 550 megabytes per second, and a max write of 520 megabytes per second. So let's take a look and see what we get inside the packaging. As you can see here, just a very quick look at the packaging, SATA 3, 6 gigabits per second, Sandforce driven, so we've got Sandforce chipset, MLC flash memory and trim support. And again, before we look inside, we will just take a quick look at the back, at the specifications. Uh, what, what, what have we got here? 4 kilobyte, random right aligned, up to 60,000 IOPS, shock resistant, 1500G, 0.5 milliseconds, uh, MTBF, 2 million hours. How awesome is that? So let's just grab this contents out. And here we go, straight into the packaging. We've got some information in here as well. So we've got installation guide and warranty info on here. We've also got a little OCZ technology sticker there with the website address on. Very cool. And then we've also got this uh, adapter plate. I think it's great that you get this included with the drive. And this is an adapter plate to mount the SSD on and then it converts it to a uh, from a two and a half inch to a three and a half inch size. Now I won't be using this in my installation because I'm going to install it into my Mac Pro. So I'm going to be putting it into a different sort of carrier. But if you're using this on another setup, that will come in really handy. And then we get the drive itself. This is the drive, let me just pop that to one side. And then in this little section here, if I can get this out, let me just uh, use my knife to ease this out. And in here, we've just got a little pack of screws. You get everything you need to mount this into your computer. And then we've got the drive itself. Open this very carefully, and I'll give you a look at the drive. So this is the OCZ Vertex 3. Awesome looking little package, very well built, mounting uh, screw threads on either side, and then we've got the connectors here for the power and the data connection and some extra information about the drive as well. So let's get this into my SATA dock and I'll show you how to clone the OS over onto your new drive. Okay, so the next process in this upgrade is to actually clone my Mac Pro. Now you can see my screen here, and I've got one hard drive here called Mac Pro Line, and that's the hard drive that I actually boot from, just in the top right-hand corner here. And a lot of you asked me to show how I actually clone the system, so what I use. Well, this is what I use here. This is a Freecom uh, dock, and round on the back here, We've got a USB socket, and that's plugged in under my desk to my Mac Pro. And then we've got another cable here, which is plugged into the mains. And what this little device allows us to do is we can actually plug in either a two and a half inch or three and a half inch serial ATA drive, and then it will mount it on my desktop, and then I can clone it. So what I'm gonna do here, if I can keep this in shot for you, is this is the Vertex 3 from OCZ Technology and I'm gonna pop that into the drive here and it should locate onto the uh, dock and then we'll push down and that should, let me just do that again, I don't think it went on properly, there we go. And then eventually that should mount onto my Mac Pro 
and I'll be able to clone my hard drive across to the SSD. So here we go, it's saying on the screen here that um, it's recognised the drive and would I like to initialise it? So I'm going to say yes. So I want to prepare the uh, solid state drive for Mac OS X. So I'm going to select it here in Disk Utility and do an erase and I'm going to call this Mac Pro Lion uh, SSD. That will do for now and then we will click Erase and that should happen pretty quick. We've got 240 gig drive here, Vertex 3 and probably about five seconds, there we go, done. So that's now uh, formatted and ready to go. And then we're going to use SuperDuper. Let me just zoom in a little bit more for you. Now SuperDuper is an application, I think it's about £15, I guess. I really can't remember how much SuperDuper is. Uh, but there will be a link underneath this video where you can download this from. And I'm going to just clone my hard drive. So I've selected Mac Pro Line in the copy, uh, copy from field here. And I'm going to copy that to Mac Pro Lion SSD. It's going to back up all of the files. I've got some options as well. I'll show you those options. We've got repair permissions on Mac Pro Lion first. Do a smart update during copy. Well, I'm going to say erase because I'm doing not a smart update. I'm doing an actual erase and a complete clone of my hard drive. On successful completion, do nothing. And then I've got some advanced options there, which we don't need to change anything in there. And then we're going to click copy now. It gives me a warning uh, that it wants to make changes. So I've got to type in my password. So I'm going to type that in. And click OK. And it's giving me one last opportunity. Are you sure? Because this will completely erase Mac Pro Line SSD. Uh, so select copy. We're going to do the copy. And there it goes. It's up and away and it's preparing and then it will erase and then it will prepare Mac Pro Line SSD, preserve the spotlight state and then it will copy the files. And this takes quite a long time to complete. So I'm gonna pause this video now. Once it's actually cloned across, I'm going to install the Vertex 3, which is currently having the new operating system cloned across to it. So I'm gonna install that into my Mac Pro and then show you the benchmarks both before and after the upgrade. So I've got Mac OS X Lion cloned across onto the new OCZ Vertex 3 solid state drive. Now before I install this into the Mac Pro, I'm going to run Blackmagic Design's disk speed test on the existing solid state drive, which is also an OCZ one, and it happens to be an Agility SSD. So let's set this running now and see what sort of results we get. Now bear in mind that I've got my screen capture software running at the same time, and it's also connected to a SATA 2 connection instead of a SATA 3. So really, you're going to have to look out for my future video, which will be running this on a SATA 3 connection. So we're getting around about 80 megabytes per second on the right. And on the read, peaking at around about the 178, 179. Going back across to the right speed on this round, almost peaking at 87, 88 megabytes per second and then back to the read, 170 megabytes per second. Just keeping an eye on that write speed, we're peaking at almost 100 megabytes per second on this round, so it does fluctuate a little bit, and this, as I said, is running on my existing solid state drive. So now let's switch over, pop the OCZ Technology Vertex 3 SSD in, and see what results we get. Okay, so I've now got the Vertex 3 installed into the Mac Pro. You can see here I've got System Profiler open, 240 gigabyte solid state serial ATA, and I've now got 144.25 gigabytes free, whereas my previous Agility uh, 3 solid state drive was almost full. So that might have impacted the performance very slightly. So let's close this down, back to disk speed test, and let's select the target drive. And I'm going to go into Mac Pro here and select Mac Pro Lion SSD and click choose. Now, before I actually start this test running, I must say again that don't forget I am recording video 
to my hard drive as I'm doing this test so the results may well be impacted slightly and also bear in mind that this is connected via a SATA 2 connection the Vertex 3 is capable of being connected to a SATA 3 connection which should achieve read speeds up to 550 megabytes per second and write speeds up to 520 megabytes per second so we're not going to get near to those on this particular test so let's click start and wow what a big increase in write speed around about the 225 megabytes per second on the right peaking at 227 so an extremely good result on the write speeds and the read speeds it sort of peaked there at 266 let's just wait for it one more time and the read speed this time yeah peaking at 266 megabytes per second that is a massive improvement over the Agility 3 SSD. Now don't forget that that uh, solid state drive had been in use in my Mac Pro for a good few months. It was almost full as well, so that obviously did have some impact on the uh, performance test, but a phenomenal, uh, I'll say that again properly, a phenomenal result from the OCZ Technology Vertex 3. Now don't forget this is the 240 gigabyte version SATA 3 6 gigabits per second interface available from ocztechnology.com thank you very much for watching i will see you all again in the next video